Okay, so let's have a look at this essay on whether school should be entertaining or educational. It's often argued that education, educational centres such as schools should be enjoyable, whereas other individuals agree that the purpose is to teach students. This essay believes that, I would say this essay, essay argues that, so this essay argues that schools should be not unamusing, you'd have to delete un, should be amusing. I prefer the word entertaining actually, so that, that schools should be entertaining as it prevents boredom, I would say as this prevents boredom and develops cognitive, um, you could say and helps develops cognitive abilities. Even though education can improve knowledge, continuous learning often bores children. This is because schools force the young ones to continuously grasp onto information. Okay, you can't say grasp onto information. You could say force the young ones to continuously grasp new information. And by being entertaining, they can release boredom. Um, I wouldn't say release boredom, I would say alleviate boredom or reduce boredom. So you need a different word there and allow the students to enjoy themselves. Remember, enjoy is a reflexive verb, so you must have um, themselves after that. For example, around 60% of the student population in the UAE agrees that schools used to be boring, comma, but with the implementation of entertainment, maybe you could say with the introduction of, en of entertaining activities I, I would prefer that they have been actively listening you could say here they have started to actively listen therefore it is clear that amusing schools again I don't really like the word amusing amusing means funny I would say therefore it's clear that entertaining schools or schools that include um, interesting activities allow children to not be bored and help um, I would say and help enthusiastic learning I prefer that to in learning with enthusiasm so and help um, enthusiastic learning okay secondly outdoor activities or fun mental games aids okay aid you delete the s in the development of cognitive skills the major reason for this is that these interests trigger, again, delete the S. So be very careful of your subject verb agreement here. You've got a plural, these interests, so it should be trigger. Uh, these interests trigger spatial awareness because children simultaneously use core skills to think and pay attention. Okay, good. For instance, a survey by the Ministry of Education in Australia has shown that approximately two-fifths of the children population, you could just say two-fifths of children and delete population, have gained better cognitive skills by participating in enjoyable outdoor or mental activities. That's good. Hence, it can be stated that entertaining tasks such as sports or mind-challenging games can help gain abilities that edu education solely, solely cannot provide. I would say help achieve skills. That's that's more natural. Okay. To conclude, this essay believes that educational institutions like schools should be more entertaining as it helps relieve boredom and helps children further develop okay again delete the S and um, further develop cognitive skills. Okay, these are important key factors that can be useful for the future. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, very clear. You've answered the question. You've um, provided a consistent argument. Um, so that's good. Uh, be care careful of subject verb agreement here. That would be, that's probably the only real um, mistake area that you've, that you've made several times. Okay, well done. Okay, let's have a look at your second essay about enjoyable activities as opposed to reading. Okay, parents spending amusing time, you'd have to say unamusing time, 
but actually I I prefer the word fun here. So parents spending fun uh, fun times with their children. So f yeah, so parents spending fun times with their children can help develop skills which cannot be done through the medium of literacy. I believe that this argument is true because it allows the young ones to develop active skills as well as physical or cognitive abilities. Okay. Even though reading might have its own benefits, playing on game consoles can develop skills which would be impossible to develop through reading. Okay. This is because playing on electronic gaming consoles allows one to gain and expand an un, so it's a n, I think that's just a typo, expand an active awareness as they detect more of their surroundings. Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean actually, the last part of that sentence, as as they detect more of the surroundings. It's not really clear. Um, maybe you mean as they, I guess you mean children, so as children become more aware of their surroundings. Okay. Research conducted by Ames in 2016 has revealed that children playing at least one hour a week on consoles such as Xbox or PlayStation outperform the national population by 33% in awareness tests. Good, good example. Therefore, it is clear that playing on gaming consoles allows children to expand, I would say expand their skills, um, which would not have been possible through reading alone. I think I would say reading alone there. Okay. Secondly, sports allows sports al sports allow, so delete the S, children to develop skills required on a daily basis. This is largely because physical activity triggers competition and later on helps to develop cognitive and physical abilities. Good. For example, a test code out by the University of Manchester shows that 60% of children spending time in outdoor activities have better cognitive and physical abilities. Good. Another good example, actually. Hence, this supports the idea that enjoyable activities help children develop useful skills when compared to the benefits of reading. Okay, that's good. In conclusion, this essay agrees. I wouldn't say agrees. Remember, an essay is a thing. Uh, so this essay argues that entertaining activities help, delete the S here, improve creativity and the ability of children, I would say, rather than reading alone. Here. Or you could say, I actually, I think I prefer... I think it would be clear if you said, and the ability of ch um, improve helps improve creativity and the ability of children more than reading alone. Um, now, this is a mistake. Form the given examples and arguments. I don't know what you mean by form now. It may be a typo. Uh, you mean from, okay. But you haven't connected that idea. You haven't linked that with your previous sen sentence. It's just added on. Um, so you need to, have, I would delete that actually, or you could use the linking words. Um, you could say, rather than reading alone, um, and as the given examples and arguments have shown. Okay. It is hoped that this implementation can help children of the future. Now, it is hoped is a bit stranger because this is your personal opinion. Um, and in a con the conclusion is when you give your personal opinion. So I would actually say, um, I believe that um, the introduction of enjoyable activities um, can help the children of the future, can help children of the future. Okay. All right, overall, well done. You've provided a very clear argument and you've, and you've provided a consistent argument and you've answered the question, so that's good.